hey guys i hope you are liking our videos uh, if you find the channel and videos informative enough you can like uh, like and subscribe uh, so i guess you would have been familiar with 8051 and keel so this today will be a very basic experiment on how to use a dac with 8051 dac stands for uh, digital to analog conversion so as you can as you know that a square pulse can be generated by repetitive complementing of a single port so here we are complementing the port 1 and uh, initially you move all a uh, series of ones and to port p1 via the accumulator and then afterwards you complement it after a delay so basically you are producing a pulse of the width uh, equal to the delay so let's see if the code works save zero errors zero warnings after build debug so in 8051 you are provided with an analyzer logic analyzer where you can observe the square pulse as soon as you run the code um, but you also need to add which port you want to observe so setup let's say you want to observe port 1 you can see a square pulse being generated over here let us observe the same square pulse on an oscilloscope. Hey guys, so this will this is the hardware that we will be using. Uh, the following is a dual DAC, uh, similar to a uh, functions as a DAC only. The following is a power supply for the DAC. You can see the outputs coming from the DAC, and and here we will show you the oscilloscope. Currently the oscilloscope is showing a zero ground line. So as soon as you upload the code to the A51, you can see a square pulse being generated on the oscilloscope. So similar to a square pulse, now I'll show you how to produce a triangular pulse or a, you can say a sorted pulse. In this code, what you're doing is basically decrementing the value at port 1 uh, using DGNZ and so the pulse will look somewhat like increased to a value and slowly decreasing in a step uh, in a stepwise manner the steps will be very small because of the small delay produced over here so the steps won't be noticeable enough so let's check whether the code is working 0 error 0 warning debug So you can see let's set up the port 1 you can see the port 1 is set up and uh, port, one in, port 1 is in the setup you can see a triangular pulse over here as you zoom in you can see small steps and as you stop You can see small steps. So, hey guys, up till now we were working on assembly, and uh, the, uh, the following is a very simple code on C, embedded C. You can see uh, in this you define an unassigned character i. Uh, unassigned character is from 0 to 255, uh, that's equals to 1 byte or 8 bits and actually you increment the character and map it to port 1 and then you decrease the character and you map it to port 1 again so following is a code of a, of a triangular pulse so let's see if the code is working 0 0 0 warnings
as you build over here the reg 51.h is uh, automatically included over here and when you open the reg 51.h you can find all the registers as a special function registers bits special function bits being mapped to the addresses of 8051 so let's come back to the code and let's debug the code and uh, logic analyzer setup p1 and let's run you can see the triangular wave on the logic wave analyzer similarly let's observe the triangular wave on the hardware so you can see the oscilloscope currently at the ground position and then as soon as uh, we dump the triangular core triangular wave core you can see the triangular wave uh, being observed on the oscilloscope 